Uh, another way that we have um, are constantly iterating on our product is augmented reality. Not everyone is able to afford a virtual reality headset. And so on um, our apps, our, our apps are a free download on iOS and, and Android. You'll see something called AR portals that even without a virtual reality headset, you have the ability to open up a magic portal in your living room, walk inside or teleport inside if you don't have the ability um, to, to have mobility through there and be inside a virtual reality experience. So, you know, one of the ways that we are combining augmented reality with virtual reality and the ways that those two areas are converging into one space um, that we call XR. Um, in our shop, XR just means solve for X, extended reality, whether it's augmented, mixed, or, or, or virtual reality. But, um, you know, AR for us is a tool, an on-ramp to get people into VR. VR is obviously the most therapeutic because it completely takes people somewhere else, but not everyone has $150, um, you know, for, for an Oculus Go. Um, and, you know, we want to be cognizant of that and reduce those barriers to entry that, that people can um, consume our product. So um, AR has, has been a great resource for us. Um, and as a quick on the go mindfulness, maybe you're in a car, in a parking lot, you're about ready, you know, to go into a meeting, um, you can, in a drugless way, downshift your nervous system, um, you know, much like taking a power bar, you know, before you, you, you take a test. This is mental fitness and a reminder that our thoughts have power to control things, not only in the virtual world, but in the real world as well.